name is Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. If you saw the video I did, uh, if you're new, welcome. If you saw the video I did yesterday, or the last video, I uh, did an open cup pour on a purple base. I brought you down, I was going to bring you down to get a closer look, and the camera went off. I'm sorry about that. Here's the dry results. It dried very nice. Lots of gold. The color, the color shift aqua is just beautiful in there. All right, today I want to do a wing pour. So, what we need to do is give our canvas a base coat. Hopefully my camera doesn't go out of focus. Let's give it a base coat. This blue is, a, what I do when I have blue paint left over is I throw it all in one container. So this is a, a mix of probably primary blue, uh, violet, maybe a little Windsor blue. I just put all the blues in one cup. And when I get enough, I do something with them. Even that out. So how is everybody today? We're having a, a cool down here in Texas. It's only going to be 103 today. <laughs> oh. I feel sorry for the people in the Midwest this year. They go from that severe cold right into this super hot weather. At least our winters are, are really nice here in Texas. Try to get it as even as possible. Missing some right here. My paints are a little on the thick side. I would say a mound on a mound. When you leave a trace, it, it, it stays about three seconds. My base coat is a little thinner. Maybe not. <laughs> this definitely has some violet in it. Excuse my cup. This is a cup I made probably a year and a half ago. <laughs> I put the dividers in there with tape. So it's not really easy to wash. I would drain most of it out and let it dry. What we want to do is put our base coat in this middle section.
And you want to put, you want to alternate white. And uh, I have a magenta that I put some uh, extreme sheen tourmaline from Deco Art. I'll show you that here in a second. And some gold. You want to go white, gold, magenta, and try to get them in there evenly. And then back to the white. And the gold. And then I want to top it off with a little bit of white. I've done is propped up the canvas. Are you still in focus? I hope so. Now I'm going to jiggle back and forth in like a waterfall type pour. Try to stay in the middle. Now the issue with these wing pores are tilting. You want your paint to be a little on the thick side. All right, I think that's plenty of paint. George. All right. We're going to hook it on up here first. done one of these in a long time. We'll, we'll see what happens. I have a lot of bubbles from that jiggling back and forth. You want to get all your bubbles out. 
You'll leave pinholes in your painting if you don't. We'll center our paint right in the middle of the canvas. And we're gonna stretch to this side. Slowly. Without going over. Right there. And take it back to the center. And go over to the other side the same way. Right there. And we're going to bring it back. Remember, we've got to get rid of enough paint. So I'm going to go ahead and come back this way again. I think I have a little more than I need. it down to the bottom there. Well, I've got some long feathers and some short feathers. To the middle. We may have done it. It's really easy to put too much paint. We'll go to that corner right there a little bit. to the center. I didn't want to go off the bottom edge there. We'll see what happens. We're going to make the other side look the same. Back to the middle. Does that look like wings? <laughs> oh, how to practice on this one.
See if we can make something of this here. The gold and the magenta look really pretty together. That blue is nice. Uh, I would encourage you to save your paints like that. If you have just a little bit left, just tip it over on top of another cup and let it run out. I kind of put my reds together and I put my blues together. Pretty. Mark my stands here. Two. Don't forget to clean the bottom of your canvas. Touch up your corners. We have to try this again. I'm new to YouTube. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You'll be helping a girl out a lot. Mm. I'm wondering. Let me torch it again. Okay, I would grab the camera and bring you down for a closer look, but I'm a clown and every time I do it, I end up turning the video off. So I'm going to bring it up to you. Pretty. Thank you again. Stop by and see me again real soon, okay? This is video number 27 for me. Thank you. Bye.